Hello growers, let's check on growth. I want to share with you a story about a bug and a caterpillar. So this bug one day saw this caterpillar and asked him, well, you have so many legs, how do you walk? It's so fascinating. And the caterpillar, caterpillar think about it and suddenly has his all like legs cramped up and tied together. And this happens in life many, many times. If you think about how you write signature, how, how you sign, um, if I don't say anything, I just give you a paper and say, go ahead and sign it. You can sign it, no problem. You've done this thousands, tens of thousands of times, right? But after you sign this, if I ask you, well now, sign again on top of your signature and make sure you're doing exactly the same, the same way, one more time. You start to think about, okay, how I connect this line to that line, how I make sure um, it all works out. And then you start to see, you won't be able to do it as smooth as you did the last time. You start to shake, whatever. That is one example. And another, when you drive, um, mostly you don't, you don't need to think about how I'm going to turn this wheel, how I'm pressing the brake, how I'm using the gas. You just think about, okay, now the road is a little bit to the right, I'm going to turn. Like you don't even, even need to think about it. You don't need to think about this is 10 degree turn, 15 degree turn, where I should uh, put my, my hands here and over there, how I should like swap, swap, switch my, like the, the, where, where I hold, hold the steering wheels. All these has become your instinct. And so in the past two days, I was on the range practicing with my dear friend. And um, it was a fascinating experience when we started to, instead of commanding our body that we should do this and that, like have um, our bo uh, my body rotate um, 90 degrees, my lower body to uh, initiate the turn and so on, so forth. Like all these kind of small instructions to our body was, was actually using our thinking brain. And instead we start to use our intention to control our body. Like our body will do whatever it thinks. It thinks that is needed. So my intention becomes, okay, I'm going to hit in front of the ball, two inches in front of the ball, or I'm going to stay low. That's all, that's all I'm thinking about. I didn't give specific or clear instruction of of how to do it, just like when you're driving a car. And it turns out I become, I became so much more consistent at every shot. And whenever I did, um, from time to time, I still messed up. And if I look back and think about it, it was almost always because I was thinking, now I want to turn my hip a little bit more. Now I want to take my club back a little bit more. Like those specific instruction would limit my, my body's ability to do its own thing because the thinking brain has come in and uh, just basically make things worse. So the question I have you today, have for you today is that what is the skill that you want to practice and how does it relate to your long-term goal? If this one skill as, a, as an objective itself, it's a goal itself, it's serving your long-term goal, it becomes very meaningful. And while you're practicing this goal, this skill, um, it's good to be aware which level you are currently are. And there are four levels to your current capability. The first, whatever you start learning, you're unconsciously incompetent. And then when you learn stuff, you understand that what you need to learn so you become consciously incompetent and then you actually develop the, the skill and capability you become consciously competent but eventually you know say you you know how to drive you don't need to think about it then you become uh unconsciously in, uh, competent so whatever skill that you're learning right now identify which stage you are in so for my example, I was practicing on the range and 
my ability to hit was mostly in the consciously competent way, but it is it was unstable. But when I allow my body to finally control the clubs for me, I become unconsciously competent. And that is a big jump. That is the next phase. That is the next level of learning. I can still learn, but now I can learn from trying out different intentions instead of thinking of the very basic maneuvers. That is the difference. So because I wanted to share all these kind of insightful information that was so helpful for me, um, I also built this app called Thoro.app. You can go on there if you want to take action or find insight into your own personality, etc. Give it a try. It's um, I'll put a link down below. And that's it for today. Thank you.